days ago we were in Vancouver and we were trying to figure out the absolute cheapest way that we could get to New York. Turns out we can get to the East Coast pretty easily with a cheap flight. So we've flown into Toronto to now catch an overnight bus tonight. It's going to take us 12 hours across the border and into New York. Which means we only really have this afternoon to see as much of Toronto as we can. Luckily, we have gotten a few tips from someone very dear to us that used to live here, so we should see some pretty cool things. I'm excited. First stop of the day is the Flatiron Building. Our first stop is this building. I don't really know anything about it at all, except that it is super flat and has iron in it. <laughs> One of the most iconic vistas in Toronto, it was finished in 1982 and is built in a flat iron shape. And the only other building in this shape that I know of is going to be in the next city that we're in. Apparently there's a mural on the back as well, so I want to go see that. There's just nothing even close to that in Australia. <laughs> at all. So thin. Wow! just told me that the fountain behind me might be the best fountain she's ever seen in her life. Bear in mind, we've been to Rome, we've seen the Trevi Fountain, so I don't know what to expect. I think you'll understand why when you turn around and see what it is. I haven't ever heard of any fountains in Toronto being incredible, so... It's not even turned on and I love it. Okay. Ah, I could have guessed that. Come on. <laughs> it's a dog fountain. Uh, it's actually really fitting because the amount of dogs we've seen so far has been more than probably anywhere else. <laughs> They're all looking up to a bone at the top. this statue but it's starting to frustrate me there's a sign just behind me that says there's not one but two cats on this statue and I can only find one everything else is a dog am I crazy where's the other cat dog dog bone dog 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 cat dog dog it's like where's Waldo but where's Cato that's been the last 20 minutes of my life Let's go. Where's the cat? So far, Toronto is very nice. <laughs> it's obviously the biggest city in Canada, so there's going to be a lot of walking today, which I think works in our favour, because it means we might be able to sleep better tonight. <laughs> so we have walked all of the way down to the... Where are we? Harbour. We have walked all of the way down to the harbour, and we're going to jump on a ferry that's going to take us to Toronto Island? <laughs> I really don't know today's plan. <laughs> We've just walked down to the harbour, we're going to jump on a ferry to take us to Toronto Island and see what that's all about. And see what that's all about. Have a good one, thank you. Thanks, have a nice day. We're going on the ferry, baby. Don't say I don't ever do anything nice for you. <laughs> also, thanks for paying. <laughs> I have no idea how long this ferry will be, but it should be cold. On how to don a life jacket before departure. It's so cold. Enjoy your trip and have a wonderful ride. It's really cold. I really wish I didn't 
lose my beanie off that train. <laughs> The reason I plan to take us here is pretty much because I know that there is a really nice view of the city skyline behind us and there was a lighthouse that may be haunted but it might be a little bit too far away. Hopefully so, there's somewhere that sells coffee though because it's freezing! That's true. What we are quickly finding with Toronto Island is that it's beautiful and you do get really good views and there's animals and trees and wildlife and it is a cool place but it seems to be very seasonal. Like here in the summer when everything's open and there's people everywhere, I think it'd be a lot better than it is now. And we are right at the end of April, so we're gonna get a good view of the skyline, probably catch the ferry back across to the main city and go from there. incredible over here it would be such a good sunset spot and what's really unique as well is that Billy Bishop Airport is right near here so you just see little aeroplanes driving past the whole time and ferries are going across the water all with the city skyline right behind it it's just so unique but freezing cold <laughs> Number one on most list of things to do in Toronto is to come and go up the CN Tower. It is too expensive for us. As, as are the tickets to go up all of these sort of shaped buildings that we've seen in Seattle, Vancouver and now Toronto. A couple of cool things about it though, it is over 500 meters tall and is one of the largest freestanding structures in the entire world. Wow. It's so tall that on a clear day from the top you can see Niagara Falls and it gets struck by lightning 70 to 80 times a year. That would be so scary. So there's some fun facts for you. Oh, no, thank you. That's so crazy you can see Niagara Falls. I thought that was ages away. Yeah, it is. From here, we've got another little bit of a walk. We're going to a place that's really popular these days called Graffiti Alley. It's insane what people can do with paint. Like, not even just paint though, like a can of spray paint. And the mm. detail they can get out of it is mind-blowing. This is so cool. Apparently, it used to just be quite a popular area for people to illegally spray paint. Apparently, they had this Clean Up Toronto initiative and they were trying to scrub all the graffiti, but the business owners around here liked the art that was on the wall and they kept getting fined because they weren't cleaning it. So they got together and were like, nah, we're keeping it. That's and now, amazing. And now this alleyway exists for everyone. It's, it's really good. It's so colourful. I love it. Mm. Let's keep going. We've been to like other places that are supposed to be centralised for graffiti and like artistic stuff and they haven't really lived up to it. 
but this place is insane. The detail on some of these is crazy, and the funny little characters. Oh yeah, my favorites are probably the chicken guys, like yeah. Chicken Morpheus Dog, the Winter <laughs> Chickens, or the fish like aquarium themed one was yeah. really funny. There was like a reporter fish and some fish playing poker. It's like entire <laughs> buildings wrapped in graffiti from floor to ceiling, like crazy. It's so beautiful, it's so colourful, it's so fun. From here we are going on foot now, another probably 25-30 minutes to what is supposed to be one of the best burgers that we've been recommended. According to Kieran. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> trip between our Squamish house sit and we have a house sit lined up in Washington in a week or so it was always going to be really tightly packed <laughs> but when we got the chance to go on the Rocky Mountaineer we went from like having a few spare days to having no time at all so I am exhausted and I cannot believe that we have to hop on an overnight bus tonight so even though this burger was a bit more expensive than we would normally pay I feel like we need proper good filling warming food to get us through the night. <laughs> she seemed a little grumpy, but that's okay. Your plain Jane. And my double Jane. And a couple of packets of chips, which I'm gonna keep in there because it is cold and I wanna keep them. Let's try it. That is really good. It's interesting the way they do the bun because it's broiled. It's like really crispy on the bottom, but then still soft and tender on the top. The meat is delicious. It needs chips in it. In my opinion, that was worth the walk. That's amazing. It's like a smash burger, so it's really thin and crispy. The fries are really salty and delicious and crispy and thick cut. Oh, maybe I'm just really hungry, but this is amazing. Chips. Just around the corner is Kieran's second and final recommendation for the day, what he calls the most beautiful bar in the entire world. I could use a beer. forward to the overnight bus but it'll be worth it once we're in New York yes <laughs> I found the other cat and it's not even a part of the fountain they lied and if you're here at the right time you might actually find a third cat what? Oh. you have made this joke so many times over the last couple of days and I have fallen for it every single time she loves it <laughs> <laughs> 